Musenelu was at the Uganda Industrial Research Institute, which is marking 20 years of existence. Located in Namanve and Nakawa, the Uganda Industrial Research Institute emphasizes equipping with the skills in different fields of development. Some of the innovators who were groomed at the institute exhibited some of their works, including furniture, engineering works, agricultural value addition products, among others. The Vice President, Jessica Alpo, was the chief guest. We are looking at uh, interface with the education sector on one hand, uh, skilling and training people so that they are more industry ready. And at the other end, we are looking at working with uh, enterprises, especially startup enterprises, whose uh, focus is using technology to make some product or provide some service. As we strive to be part of the fourth industrial revolution that has taken the globe, uh, we, we want to be part of this, of this movement, to, uh, to uh, leapfrog Uganda from where we are now to join this fourth industrial revolution. Uganda Industrial Research Institute has two homes, one in Nakawa and Namanvi, as well as other 50 centers across the country. These centers are meant to ensure that all Ugandans are well equipped and skilled for industrial development. Uh, we believe very strongly that uh, real skills uh, are necessary for enabling individuals to start their own uh, enterprises. Uh, if I'm going to get self-employed, I have to have uh, the competency uh, to execute at whatever I am going to do. Like I said, the demonstration plants are based on the core raw material that is produced in that area. So if an area has an abundance of fruits, then it's going to be fruit processing. If it has an abundance of cattle, then it's going to be meat processing. If it is um, a lot of youth, we may put a youth skilling center, maybe a tailoring center. The Science and Technology Minister, Dr. Monica Msenero, challenged Ugandans to embrace locally made products. We hope that with the evidence we have now, that we are producing very high quality things. I mean, if we produce a satellite which goes into space, if we produce a bus which moves you, if we produce things which are of high quality, then we should be able to build trust. It is important. Musenero says that until Ugandans embrace the works of their countrymen and women, technological innovation will be in vain. You'll have something here made in Uganda and people are still buying something made outside even if the one for Uganda is superior and of better quality. So my call now is that we, we get over that inferiority complex. It's an inferiority complex which has been cultivated by years and years of us only utilizing technologies from outside. She now wants government to prioritize funding Uganda Industrial Research Institute. There is this which is the new campus, state of the art, very, very good. But we have the original campus in Nakawa, it has been the machinery, especially the machines and the infrastructure, it has been incubating people for a long time. And there's need for refurbishment and for modernization so that it can give uh, our innovators a better experience and more modern. What she's saying is that people, sh Ugandans should have confidence in their own scientists. And Professor and Minister, I'm going also to be one of the voices to drum up support to have conf for people in Uganda to have confidence in our scientists. President Museveni has often advocated for the promotion of science as a major factor for Uganda's development. Ramson Mhiri, CTVP Medition.